सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जी एस ऑनलाइन क्लासेज बाई डॉक्टर मोहम्मद यूनिस सो हेयर आई एम टीचिंग यू द आर्ट एंड कल्चर सो वी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन हरपन आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोरियन आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर सो विद द एडवेंट ऑफ बुद्धिज्म एंड जेनिज्म विच वेर अ पार्ट ऑफ शर्माना ट्रेडिशन इन फोर्थ सेंचुरी बी सी द रिलीजियस एंड सोशल सिनेरियो ऑफ गंगेटिक वैली began to undergo changes so we see the uh, the uh, as the both the religions these both buddhism and jainism were opposed to varna and jati system of vedic age so that is why they gained patronage of kshatriya uh, rulers who were quite opposed to uh, brahmanical supremacy so as far as we see mauryan art we see there are uh, we classify it into uh, court art and popular art in court art we see palaces pillars and stupas in popular art we see caves pottery and sculpture so we discuss them one by one some important points in them so we see palaces as far as palaces are concerned the mauryan empire was the powerful empire to come to power in india the capital at pataliputra and the place at kumrahar were uh, created to reflect the splendor of mauryan empire so we see here that uh, it, it this was inspired by this uh, uh, palaces this was inspired by from the tradition of tradition prevalent in iran and wood was the principal mate- building material and then we see we move on we see uh, similarly uh, ashoka's palace at kumrahar was a massive uh, structure it had a high central pillar and a three story wooden structure so then we see pillars as far as pillars we concern then their average height was uh, 40 uh, they were 40 feet high so they had four parts we see a long shaft formed the base and was made up of a, made up of a single piece of stone or monolith then we see above it uh, lied capital and above the capital lied a bacchus on which an animal figure was placed so example is loria nandagar pillar in champaran and sarnath pillar in Varan- varanasi so then we see st- stupas as far as stupas are concerned stupas were burial mounds prevalent in india from the vedic period it is a conventional representation of a funeral cumulus in which the relics and ashes of the dead were kept uh, so we see during the ashoks during uh, ashoks period 84000 stupas were erected so uh, after the death of buddha nine stupas were erected eight of them had relics of buddha at their medhi while the ninth had the pot in which the relics were originally kept then with the parts of a stupa Uh, we have stone panels we have south torana we have double uh, stairway then we see we have east torana we have west torana we have yasti we have harmika we have chatras we have ambulatory passages passage way so this is these are the different parts of a stupa so the core of stupa was made of unburned brick uh, brick while the outer surface was made by using burned brick so then we see example sanchi stupa in madhya pradesh is most famous of ashokan stupas then piparwa stupa in uttar pradesh is the oldest one so these are the examples of stupas then we see what is the difference between ashokan pillars and akmenian pillars akmenian pillars we see in the uh, uh, ashokan pillars the shaft was a monolith that is it was made of a single piece of stone whereas in akmen uh, pillars <laughs> the shaft were made up of uh, various pieces of sandstone cemented together then in ashok another difference is then ashokan pillars were independently erected by the erected by royal diction whereas akmenian pillars were generally attached to state uh, buildings so then we see popular art in popular art we see cave architecture this period saw uh, this mauryan period saw the emergence of rock cave architecture uh, during the mauryan period these caves were generally used uh, these caves were uh, generally used as viharas uh, living quarters quarters by the jain and buddhist monks while the early caves were used by the jain uh, ajivikas later they became popular as buddhist monasteries the caves during mauryan period were marked by a highly polished finish of the interior wall interior walls and decorative gateways then we see in uh, examples barabar and nagarjuni caves in uh, bihar were uh, formed during uh, the time of the Shah artha sana of ashoka then uh, as far as sculptures are concerned sculptures were primarily uh, uh, were used primarily for the decoration of stupas in the torana and medhi as the uh, form of religious expression two of the famous sculptures of mauryan uh, period are those of yaksh and yakshni they were objects of worship related to the uh, all three religions jainism hinduism and buddhism 
so then uh, we see poetry poetry of Mauryan period is generally referred to as NBPW that is northern uh, black polished wear or painted grey wear they were characterized by the black paint highly lustrous finish and uh, were generally used as luxury items they have often been referred to as the highest level of poetry so this is the Mauryan art Mauryan or art and architecture will we will proceed further to post Mauryan art and uh, thank you for watching this video